All right, ladies, we're going to have a little bit of a talk. <laughs> now, I, off the jump, I'm not one of these little guru guys that do the, oh, yeah, you need to do this to pick up women. I'm not one of those. I, I've been with the same woman for the past seven years, ever since I was 19, and we're getting married in a few months. So I just, women do not really cross my mind that much, honestly. Now, I have this huge issue that's been really frustrating me for years it's just seeing women destroying themselves to have this unrealistic beauty standard. And it's crazy when you see feminists scream at other women or other people or men saying, oh, my God, where's her rib cage?" when they see some artwork from a video game or something and you get really irate. They never really throw shade at these fake face tuned women on Instagram. That's like empowering, empowering. And it's like it just doesn't make any sense because the, the person that we're going to do a little jump off of is, is Madonna. Everyone's seeing how this woman just completely destroyed her face. In my opinion, Madonna, I'd never really listened to her music. Every There's a few songs that you just have to know because if you look, grew up in America, you just heard them because they're we're like we're like everywhere. Or if you worked in a department store for five years like I did. So I, I, there's probably way more Madonna songs that I know that I probably don't know from a Madonna. But this, she was like, when she was younger in the 80s, she was, she was cute. She was really cute. I actually really like her eyebrows. She has nice dark eyebrows. What is that? What is that, dude? Like, what did you do? Is it, and why the thing? Why don't women understand that? Yes, ladies, your your looks are going to fade. It happens. You will age. And whenever I hang out with my fiance's family, or well, technically my family now, when I go to my fiance's side of the family, every time I see her mom, I tell her, I'm like, hey. Jen, you know, you know, you're gonna look like Cindy in the next like 30, 40 years. It's going to happen. It's like it's it's inevitable that it's going to ha it's, it will happen. There's a really great antidote that I heard from Carl Benjamin the, of the Lotus Eaters. He said that porn is very very bad for young men, and Instagram is very very bad for young women because porn like you're seeing these insane over sexualized videos that no one does in their real life. <laughs> I see you don't have a lifeguard here at your beach. I'm not at the beach, this is a bathtub. No body of water is safe without a lifeguard. But it's two feet deep, lady. You're, what are you doing here? No one's pile driving their girlfriend on the edge of the, no one's doing that. And all the stuff that looks interesting, they're not physically comfortable in real life. Just get that through your head. Young girls seeing women that just have these insane features that are just, immensely just perfect on their faces you just look at it it's just like it's it's not real and it, it really frustrates me seeing it in real life and f my own family members like my fiance would i i hate taking pictures for her and her sister because they have to be by the most specific angle and the perfect lighting oh you got to take the picture from up high because we want to get our chins because we look fatter we got to do it from this side because my makeup looks better and it's just stupid shit like that constantly every time we have to go through a photo and i just like I'm, I'm done i just don't care i'm done and i you're seeing women that are barely a little over 100 pounds saying how fat they are fat chicks sitting there saying that they're skinny and shit it just doesn't make any sense the thing that really fresh like Madonna's thing is like it's horrifying it's terrible it's 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 hideous but seeing women that are younger than me have plastic surgery is extremely alarming I'm only 26 I see women especially on television shows all right you guys can make fun of me I don't care I watch 90 Day Fiance oh yes oh yeah 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 I I hate watch it too which is even worse every single episode I hate 95% of the people on that show I do not like. 97% of the time, I can just point out how fake the show is too, how they just drum up drama, but I, I'm i stupid enough to keep paying. Actually, I don't even pay for it. She does, which is not really an excuse, but I, I'm just dumb enough to give Discovery Plus money. Also, Mythbusters is on there, and I watch that from time to time, and how it's made. That's really interesting to learn things like that, but other than that, seeing women, I think like Yara, like the the chick that's on like one of the newer seasons, her you get you just look at her face, her cheeks and her lips already done, and she's like, I'm older than her, like dude, like what did you do? Every time I look at her, she just looks bizarre because her face looks swollen. 
uh, these women are on the same show, but they're a little bit older. Uh, the twin sisters, Darcy, uh, Darcy and Stacy. These women went and just completely destroyed their faces for what? Is it? Do they know that they look terrible? Or they just know that okay, we're gonna get controversy that we just messed up our faces. I don't think these people cannot think that they look good. I don't. It has to be some type of mental issue that they have. I think it's just women just aren't told that, dude, you're going to get older. And people are not going to care about you. It, the the thing, okay, we have to teach people, young people, this like when they're very, very young, especially when they're a teenager. Men, <laughs> you have absolutely no value in your life at all, especially when you become an adult or like a teenager and you're starting to get like your own thing. You have absolutely no value. You add nothing to society. You're completely worthless. Men don't care. We don't care about each other. Women have the ability to choose their genetic line or who they get to, who they get to breed with. Women usually are only the ones that get to make that decision in life. Now, women get to go out and choose which man they want. But women have a lot of value when they're younger, at their most fertile, when they're in their late teens, early 20s. That's when men want them the most. And when women get older, they're completely that no one really cares about them at all. And but we still have this whole like MILF culture and things like that. It's just it's all over the place. But <laughs> we we women that you have all the power when you're younger. I can't remember. It was one of these uh, sites that asked men throughout like a whole age range. And they also asked women, like, what would, what age would you want the opposite sex be? And when men got older, they started to get younger over time and it plateaued. I think when men got into their 40s and 50s, the women that they wanted on average is around 22 years old, which is like fertile, like you're old enough to drink. You're basically an adult, but like you're at the youngest form. And I believe for women... As they get older, I think the men also get older with them. Men is the complete opposite. It starts to go backwards and then it plateaus. And that and men want to have uh children with the women. They want to have start a family. And honestly, I don't know what women want. It's just like they just want beauty all the time. They just want to be beautiful and looked at. And I think that's just the culture that we just created with Instagram and social media because those women do not look like that on their off time. They look like that in the Instagram photo, but if you wipe the makeup off, they, they don't really look like that. And another thing that really bothers me is the same thing, makeup, or the over exaggeration of putting on so much makeup. As a kid, I used to watch a lot of those uh, celebrity shows like on VH1 and Muse. They used to have one about like, I can't remember. It was something to do with Little Kim. And this is like when she first got her like her surgery, like over a decade ago. They went through and said a lot of celebrities get these plastic surgeries is because they're trying to keep up with HDTVs. And the HDTV, when you re-res it, you find all these imperfections in the human face. And so you have all these celebrities going in and trying to prevent that smoothing out their face and doing all these different things so they can look better on more and more high definition televisions. And what's really, really funny is that it's, it, it is true because last night I sat down, I rewatched Heat after a very, very long time, like 10 years, incredible movie, insane movie. Ashley D Judd is in that movie. She's really, really beautiful. And if you watch it, and the movie is re-resed, I'm pretty sure it's in 4K. She has acne on her face. Didn't bother me at all. I know people get acne. It, it happens. I, I love going back and watching shows as a kid because you watch like Zack and Cody and like they're like the top echelons of like what a kid looks like and all these different things. You look at the Jonas Brothers. If you go back and rewatch a lot of their shows like that's been like remastered in like 4K, these kids still had acne. They weren't perfect. They just they just technology just brought it out. It, it's just what happens. But it does it does really annoy me seeing so many women that are just gorgeous. They don't really need much of anything. A lot of them could just throw on like eyeliner 
and maybe some eyeshadow and they're just good for like the entire day but you see there's just so many women that put on like layers upon layers of just foundation all over their face and their necks they have to do like oh they spend 45 minutes inside the in front of the mirror hey i i i, I get it like oh it's an art form some people like doing it some people it makes them feel better i totally understand like have it's your body do whatever you want with it but it's just this insane over reliance on just putting so much on their face and just covering up every single imperfection it's just like dude just have dignity just have dignity in your looks men we're like i said men have no value we're screwed i woke up just like this i didn't actually didn't gotta go retwist my hair but i literally just wake up like this sometimes i'll brush my hair brush my beard but i i'm born with the face i got i know some dudes that put on a little bit of makeup and stuff like that women they they, they feel like they have to get every tiny tiny little morsel of just i that has to be fixed and it's just most men don't care honestly but most men don't care i i don't know if it's because they're doing it for other men or they're doing it for other women yeah guys i'm sorry i know this is like a really random rant but this is something that is just it just bothered me it just bothers me like a lot because you see it's just so many just women are just beautiful women like just beautiful and they just cover their face they have to get all these specific angles they don't like taking pictures they 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 could only go out they put on a certain it's just it's insane how much maintenance they have to do to try to perceive a look that's online and it just doesn't it just doesn't really make that much sense to me it's just it's just ladies you're going to get old it happens it doesn't mean you're gonna get old and ugly you're just gonna get old you're you're all not gonna be marissa tomei's or jennifer coolidge's or jennifer tilly's like i you're not going to be it's just it, i understand like it sucks you like your your looks fade men gain they look gain their look when they get older like look at george clooney like this guy had a no one really looks at him when he's younger it's always old pictures of him much much older guys brad pitt and everything and they, you have to gain your gravitas as a man. Women, it's going to fade. Even these women that are in their fifties and sixties are still, they still look really, really good. Like the woman who played, um, uh, uh, Green Arrow's mom. Like that woman is just way too attractive to be in her age range. I'm pretty sure she was probably like twenty years younger what she was supposed to be. But yeah, it, ladies, if you're going to get old, just just age into yourself. It's fine. <laughs> It's it's totally fine, and this is why you get married. Because if you get married, you're 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 with a man that's going to love you no matter what. If you're fat, ugly, old, it doesn't really matter. But if you just age into yourself, you don't have to try to tr stop trying to be twenty the entire time. It it, it doesn't make sense to me because we have this whole weird milf culture that I participate into. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> we we have this milf. We have this MILF culture that it's like, yeah, the, the woman's a little bit older, but she's still hot. There's absolutely nothing wrong with trying to look nice. But when you're trying to get this very unrealistic, just insanely Photoshop 15 different filters on your face, trying to hide, trying to remove 10 pounds with the filter, just stop. Just go to the gym. Just put on a little bit of eyeliner. You, you're, you'll you be mostly fine. Honestly, it, you'll be you'll be all right. All right, guys, that's really that's it. That was just a little rant that I had, but. Other than that, guys, have a good one. Peace.